Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Felix. I'm a YouTube content creator from Indonesia. Today I'm going to be reacting to Ultimate Doctor episode 20, Lord Ragon. Official English subtitle available. Um, last episode of Doctor, it was just mesmerizing, seeing Monaco Kango trigger, finding on the moon base that has been covered by the sphere and there's Yapul. And there's like the the office of like the god super god of the like Ultraman Dina and it's just so freaking cool of seeing the collaboration between Trigger and Decker as well and fighting on the moon and they're going and uh Kanata is going back to the earth through the sphere barrier and everything. So truly interested for this one I think it will not be as intense as the previous one, but it will be some serious gag or like aka like some filler thingy i don't know but let's just go lord ragon of uh of our show ultimate actor episode 20 so let's go let's check let's react okay let's go three two one go mm. Um, what is this? Oh. It's like walking. God. Oh, it's it's his wife. Like oh, 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 and there's a and there's like a monster. Okay, I think the monster is is la it's it's the Ragon, yeah. The monster is the Ra Lord Ragon. Oh my God, I'm just so shocked. Okay, I'll just skip this thing. Okay. Okay. What that to me? Mm, advertisement typical. Skip. I'll just. Okay, Lord Ragon. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh Lord Ragon. Oh, okay.
Go open to the ocean. A terrible curse upon those who do not believe. Oh. Okay. Oh, finishing. <laughs> Ichika is just loving it. Oh, there's the monster. Oh, there could have been a Lord Ragon. Hmm. It's the same. <laughs> I threw it all over my motorcycle. Okay. No. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's a little girl. Oh, underground plate. Mm, it's a girl. It's a young girl. Mm, okay. Okay.
It's to stop. It's to stop the construction. Okay. Oh. Hmm, that's the Lord Dagon. That's the Lord Ragon. Hmm, that's the Lord Ragon. Hmm. Oh, it's so like oh, it's a Lord Ragon and everything, but after it been lifted up, the mask it not Lord Ragon. It's a grandma. It's a grandma. I've collected seashells and everything. It's a grandma. It's not the Lord Ragon. Hmm. It's the Barbara, the grandma. It's a grandma, so it's busy, blah, 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 because she is going to change uniform into the Lord Ragon. Oh my god. She's becoming the Lord Ragon because I think she wants to. She wants to. To make the village go back into the seashells like her rage when she was a kid. She pretends to be the Lord Ragon. Oh, it seems as though you can see them. Oh, oh! She will show a flashback. I think Ichika will go in the trance or something and go into the past. She'll be shown the grandma's memories. Hmm, it's a little girl. This little girl is the is the grandma I think. Mmm, it's the Ragon. Mmm, wanna play with me? It's a Ragon. Okay, and then? Well, she's been possessed by Lord Ragon, okay. Boom, okay. Oh, it's the seashells. Oh, that was 70 years ago, okay. The Ragonite. Oh my god. Mmm! It's breaking out! The Archie thingy. 
Wagon, it's appearing. Hmm, Ragon is mad. Hmm, oh no. Oh no, oh no, this is not good. This is not good guys, come on, pick up the pace. So because humans forgot to bond with Ragon and they just want to see a Ragon and everything because they appear, they're afraid of Ragon. Ragon is now mad at, 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 at the humans for sealing him and forgetting about him, I think. Okay. Mmm, Ragon has been attacked. Okay. Oh, oh no 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 oh yeah yeah okay been attacked by Kanata. Okay. Mmm. Oh my god. Why did you stand like in the face of Dragon? Okay, you're too close, but okay, at least Decker. Mmm. Okay, Decker. Mmm. Boom. Yo, it's slippery. It's amphibian. It's like a fish thing. It's watery and everything. Mmm. Boom. Mmm. Oh, I want to crush this decker. Mm, that guy becomes so slippery. Come on, dude, something Decker. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Soldier Ray. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Ragon can withstand the soldier ray? That's something. Mmm, again, watery attack. Mmm. It's inside the freaking water. Ragon can have the advantage. Okay. Oh, I wanted to say I'm sorry. Let's play together this time. We can play forever. Urasawa san, this is the Urasawa. It's like 70 years old. It's 70 years old, and Ragon is like her playmate 70 years ago when she was just maybe age 10 or something. Mm, Ragon recognizes Urasawa. Oh.
Oh, they're playing. They're playing. They're playing. What is that? Oh, they're gone. Oh, I'm going with it. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's the Ragon. It's a Ragon that wanna play with Urasawa. Oh, Urasawa! Uh, uh, Ichika wanna wanna Ichika wanna stop to Urasawa. She goes inside with Urasawa and. Ragon. She want to take Urasawa. She wants to take Urasawa back. This is a place for humans. Oh, she's back to the little kid. No! Okay, it's Decker! Oh, Decker! Okay, Miracle Tug Decker. Okay, what is our back with Ichika? Okay, Decker. Ragon is back to his home. Oh, Ragon is like bye bye to Urasawa. Ragon is like bye. Oh my god. Boom, Ragon is gone for good. Oh, nice. It's like the Kainari monster. Ragon Sama. Is that the home portal to Ragons? <clears throat> mm, yeah. <laughs> Ichika is good. She's gone in touch with uh with with Arasum with Arasume. She wants to befriend She wants to befriend this lady for for yeah, become a friend and everything. The seashell. The one the one that's given by Ragon. <laughs> Five seven. Urasawa. Did you go on a befriend Urasawa? Oh, okay. Oh, 
so this is about Orozawa and Ragon. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Okay, what's this? It's plasma. Oh, what is this? Oh, a gums. Freakingly, Agams is freaking back with Asami Kanata. Oh, he wants to become Dakar and then being stopped by Agams. What is that monster? Let's remember Dakar. The price of prosperity. Oh, it's Terfacer with the, a monster. Terfacer with a monster. As plasma breeder reactor. Okay, nice guys, nice, loving it. The production feels really different, but in a very good way. The different shots to make it dramatic. The yeah, the the like the not just close ups, you guys, but when uh we see the uh the Ragon and Darker fights with the small bicycles and like been 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 fallen and and we see how the moves and we see in a water thingy where Darker goes underwater. It's just really, really awesome for the animation wise and the visualization. This episode hit me on a personal level. It was very relatable and it made me nearly bust out crying. It's very hard to say goodbye to an old friend, especially when you're feeling alone. Love the ultra Q vibes. It's not how often the Ultra franchise periodically, periodically returns to its root when it's basically Twilight Zone but with Kaiju. Mmm. Okay. The Ultra Q series. Tony, I haven't watched Ultra Q series so I don't know. Going back to its roots, where the Ultra series started off with just human discovering the mysteries of kaijus and aliens and fighting against them on their own. I'm also glad that Dakar didn't go dynamic type in the episode. In this episode, Miracle is already enough to do the job. Yep, just using Miracle. If he goes dynamic, it's just too overpowering. It's just like trigger every time. It's always glitter mode. A uh, directed emotional episode, yeah, it's to say goodbye to Decker, man, it's almost over, like, almost like five more episodes or something. Really love the Ultra Q and Showa atmosphere. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The shots, the visuals of Decker, um, as well as the vibe in the story, even though I say this is some kind of filler. Maybe next week we'll, we'll be in the canon again, we'll be back with Agams and the others, but, um, man, I mean, like, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically like the show, um, even if I haven't watched all the show episodes, um, I somewhat saw some clips and somewhat see some episode, and for me, it's back to the roots, it's, it's, it's real different, uh, from the new gens, especially. For Heisei, there's some parts that is similar like this, but it's not like discovering things or that, but if I'm not mistaken, like in Dina, there's a, there's a, I forget what's the monster's name, like the bow on thingy with the red balloon, like discovering this and that, doing experiments and discovering small monsters. And we've seen in Dino versus this kid that he is a monster and he wants to fly. Boom, boom, he tries to jump and Dino, Dino, like motivate uh, him to be confident and flying. And they go uh, together, like those kind of moments. It's not all about fighting, killing, fighting, killing intense action uh in fire but it's 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 sometimes like this and it's just so cool and just so amazing so guys thank you so much for watching uh my reaction and we'll be meeting in another set of ultra attacker reaction next week and uh, last but not least tomorrow will be up for ultra galaxy fight the death and crossroad as usual episode three guys so till we meet again next week for attacker bye